I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible, that some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. Why did this have to happen to me? For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like feature that only the special among us are, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it, period. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. And some of you right now, you want to be, you know what I'm saying, you want to go to the next level. I want to counsel, you know, I want to be an engineer, I want to be a doctor, listen to me. You can't get to that level. You can't get to the level economically where you want to be until you start investing in your mind. You're not reading books. I'm challenging y'all to go to conferences. I dare you to invest time. I dare you to be alone. I dare you to spend an hour getting to know yourself. When you become who you are, when you become the person that you were created to be, designed to be who you were designed to be, when you become an individual, what you do is you take yourself and you start separating yourself from other people. I tell you to get to a place where people don't like you, it don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy because you're trying to blow up. You're trying to get to the next level. I need you to invest in your mind. Invest in your mind. If you still talk about your dream, if you still talk about your goal, but you have not done anything, just take the first step. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives, and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. Don't let nobody steal your dream. After we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody say, you can count on me, and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude, the cars repossessed, nobody believes in you, you've lost again and again and again, the lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. Okay, please uh, tell us who you are and tell us about the relation you have with him. Um, my name is Haven, and I'm been one of Ethan's. I'm one of his best friends um, for about two two years now. Two two, two years. That's a long time. My name is Andy Lorimer, and I am a teacher and filmmaker. Uh, my name is David Alleman. Ethan is one of my closer friends. We play D and D a lot. Um, he's very, he's very good at making films. My name is Gabriel Villanueva, and I like to think that I am a accomplice of Ethan's. My name is Jared Horning. I am a student at Fast Forward Charter High School, and I am a friend of Ethan. My name is Eliza Matthews, and my relationship to Ethan is a friend. Ethan videos reflect his fun and loving personality. He wants to make people around him smile and feel at ease and make sure oh, that his films do so. Saved. His great if you like short videos him, like, will make anybody who watches you, it feel good and special about anything in the world. How long did you meet him? And based on um, you met him, 
How would you describe him as a person? We actually met at work. Um, I remember his first day there, I went up and started talking to him, and just like that, we clicked, and we've been best friends, like, ever since. Um, Ethan, ever, like, ever since I met him, he's just been one of the kindest people I know, smartest people. He's got the biggest heart, and I worry about that sometimes, because his big heart does get in the way. He just can't be mean to anyone, um, just so kind, and... He also has a lot of energy, like a lot and lot of energy. Ethan is a very kind kid. Um, he uh, definitely, um, Ethan, you gotta stop doing that <laughs> if you want me to say things. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding, make sure that I got people, I got people's attention. Okay, uh, he likes people's attention apparently. Um, Ethan is a very kind person. Um, uh, you can tell that when he is making things that uh, he participates in what I have learned to be called charitable cinema, which means that they're made in a charitable way. So it's about being kind and being uplifting and, and upbeat with other people. And when you have that approach to filmmaking, it shines through on camera. And that's one thing you'll see in Ethan's work is that uh, that it's all about good vibes. So I've known him for four years and I would describe him as a very outgoing guy and very witty. He, uh, he's very productive. I didn't, we didn't really get close too much until sophomore year, so last year. And then sophomore year we kind of got closer and then this year we're really close and we've been doing a lot of films together and working together. I have known Ethan for about a year, and I would describe Ethan as interesting, to say the least. I've known Ethan for about two years, and he is a very funny person. Ethan has been creating and sharing magic through the videos that he creates. Watch short films like... The Puppeteer, Weatherman 1 and 2, Fences, The Unwanted to Guess, Halloween Massacre, and many more. So, with Ethan in terms of what he loves, which is filmmaking, and actually wanting to make movies, TV shows, etc. Assuming that you know he does and that, what do you think just the films he's been putting out? Like, what do you think in those kind of terms? Ethan has an amazing style of filmmaking. I've seen a lot of his videos, and they are really good. Um, his passion is great. Like he made really makes good movies that make you want to see more of them. He's doing a lot better job with uh, writing. Uh, he's got a quirky um, uh, sense of humor within his films, um, but I also. Uh, there's an old film uh, with Jack White, I'm sorry, Jack Black, called Be Kind, Rewind, where they make um, classic films like Ghostbusters and uh, uh, Robocop and things. And Ethan's films kind of make me think about those. Uh, there's something very endearing about uh, just the love of filmmaking that Ethan shows in his films. His films are definitely getting better. Um, each one he puts out there, you can see this growth and progression and he's learning new things, he's doing new things, he's trying new things and they're always just so good. They're so funny, they're so, they're so entertaining to watch how he, oh, I, just, I, just, I love them. And then he'll like send me a text message when he like puts a new video out. And it's just, oh, when he's so excited, I get excited and then I feel proud of him because so awesome I love him I really love his videos and the fact that he really wants to do something like he knows what he wants and he's already taking steps to get there so uh, that's really inspirational to me the fact that he's already working to get what he wants now like he's starting now I think that's kind of cool well I had the lucky opportunity to help uh, Ethan with one of his films his most recent one and I think Ethan person as a director and the way he makes his films is really good and I love the way he the emotion he puts into his films um some of them are definitely confusing uh, 
I would say a pretty good quality most of the time. There are always, you know, hiccups and little knacks that you could make better. But, you know, overall, I would say it's, it's, his films have been awesome. Just brilliant. Einstein couldn't have come, come up with anything more genius. Ethan Irwin aims to create the big, big film that will help him leave his mark on the world and establish Anybody? him as one of the greats. Logan. You knew he has been climbing Bueller. and doing surprisingly very good. He's got stuff Bueller. at 18, news articles, reactions, got a sponsorship deal, and all of that. Is there something lifting and motivating you like to say to him? I would say just to keep going and to keep doing what you love. Don't let anyone stop you. And you're amazing. Uh, death is inevitable. We all end up in the ground eventually. Nothing we do really matters. Memento mori, unis honest. Lifting? Keep working hard. Ethan has a lot of potential. I feel like he can, if he you know, works really hard even after school ends, he's not in school, and he continues to work as hard as he does now, he can get much better, and he'll have much better films to put out to YouTube, maybe get a couple more higher sponsorships, and you know, he's doing good. My advice to you, Ethan, is never give up. You're gonna fail, you're gonna fall on the ground, and it's gonna feel like you can't get back up, but I promise you, you can. You have to get back up, and you have to keep fighting for what you want, okay? People are gonna tell you your dreams aren't valid. They're lying, they aren't. They're just jealous because they're not where you are in their life right now, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. Keep being yourself. Don't let people put you down because you're not like them. No, you don't want to be like them. You want to keep doing what you're doing because what you're doing now, that's going to get you. That's going to help you succeed. You hear that? Keep being you. Being kind to people and being helpful. And again, you can go about making films as an egomaniac and saying this is my vision, everybody else is a moron because they don't understand anything and they just don't get what I'm trying to do. And those films look like that. Or you can have a film that's made by somebody who is excited to be there, is excited to have people around them, is grateful for their work, and uh, lets them collaborate and do things in their way, and just lets things be as they are and, be, and excited about it. And that's charitable cinema and Ethan goes about making his films in that way. That was a, and yes, he told me to say these things. Those are none of my words. That's all what Ethan... In fact, my script is right here. It's written on my hand, so... Man, uh, Ethan sounds like a genius. Uh, well, according to what it says here, yes. Well. <laughs> you can live your dreams!